Hi, this is AggieQ, and this will be the second part on how to play HD content on your Atom systems uh, using the CCCCP uh, codec pack and the uh, Core AVC. Um, as you can see, now we're looking for the final codec 2008. This pack here has the Sonic Cinemaster uh, codecs, which we will need to play back the Blu ray and HD uh, images from the hard drive. Now, as you see, we don't need any of the other codecs. Uh, we just only need the Sonic codecs. So uh, make sure you deselect everything else except Sonic, and uh, install it. As you can see, as you can see in the background, I have a text editor open up. Uh, it's showing all the values which you need to set for the external filters and uh, need a plastic player. Um, make sure, of course, you follow the order exactly and. Uh, try not to uh, make any mistakes in the values otherwise those Blu-ray and uh, HD uh, images will not play at all. Okay, um, the first uh, external filter which you have to fiddle with is the Hell Media Splitter. Um, you have to set that to 0, 0, 009, 0, 0, well you get the point. And uh, you have to make sure the merit is set to uh, prefer. After that, you have to f uh, get hold of the FFT audio decoder filter and make sure that is uh, set correctly. And then, of course, on you now you see on the uh, on the text editor it says Cyberlink H264. Now I don't have the Cyberlink, so I substitute that with the Core AVC, and uh, it's just using the same values, of course, but with the Core AVC uh, uh, codec. And of course, it plays pretty well. And then you need to get the Sonic Sin Master audio decoder. Set the value for that. The FFD Show video decoder. Set the value for that. And Sonic Sin Master video decoder. And set the va value for that. And that's it. More or less, you're done. Uh, at this point, please uh, try to double check your values because, like I said, uh, if you got one value wrong, it ain't gonna happen. And none of your uh, D, uh, HD DVDs or your Blu-rays are going to play properly. Now, as you can see, uh, this is not a very complicated process. You just have to be a bit meticulous with the values because, like I said earlier on, and we'll repeat again, getting one value wrong screws up the whole thing. Uh, you should note that HD DVDs do not play flawlessly on a dual-core atom. This is due to the fault of the graphic uh, chip. It's just a 950 uh, GMA. Uh, it really does not have the capabilities of uh, processing a HD DVD, but it seems to be able to play Blu-ray quite well, as you can see from our earlier videos. Um, of course, the Z series uh, atoms with their chipsets, which is the uh, Power VR chipsets, will be able to play Blu-ray and HD movies flawlessly on the hardware level, which, which should help a lot when you use a Core AVC on it. Um, as you can see, I'm still fooling around with the the settings, just making sure everything's correct. Now, my screencast software can't seem to capture any of the Blu-ray or HD uh, movies I uh, play on my Media Player Classic, so that part will be uh, edited out of this uh, video. But um, I will open up Media Player Classic's uh, filter and get hold of the core codec so I can adjust uh, some of the settings which is disabling all the deinterlacing uh, and of course just leaving a crop uh, was it 1088 to 1080 uh, selected and that's it so uh, this should give you a smooth playback but if there's any problems just leave me a message